Hello everybody and welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to be showing you how to use this machine right here. This is best tank in Nuclein's arsenal. This is the T300 floor machine. As you can see it's quite big. It's quite heavy. This thing will pull you if you have very slippery shoes down hallways like this. It can be fun but it can also be quite terrifying as it begins to turn on you and you don't have traction to stop it. So, as you can see here you have a we call it the hood. You can lift it up. This is where your dirty water will go. It will come up through here into this. And this will catch any kind of like wads of hair, lint, some plastic and stuff that gets that comes up through your squeegee and everything that sucks up all of the dirty water. Up front, you see this little this little guy here. This is where you'll fill it up. You'll stick a hose in here along with some peroxide or floor cleaner. Peroxide it is what we generally use in this machine and you'll fill it up and here on the back on this side right here you'll see this clear hose there are little notches telling you how full it is one of three two of three three of three as to how full this machine is here at the front see this little yellow thing you will push this generally with a foot and it'll drop this down what this is this is your pad. This is what is scrubbing the floor. You go untwist it right here in order to change it. You'll take this out like so. Take this ring out, put it back on top, and then you'll take it and you'll put a new one on. And this, you go like that. You'll line it up there. You make sure if it's lined up there, it's generally not going to be showing any of the edge around here and then you take this put it back in there twist it on and you're going to want to make sure this makes a nice bowl shape like so as you can tell you can't really see that thing and what that does is that prevents this from scraping on the floor potentially breaking and from making a terrible terrible sound this thing when it scrapes on the floor, it sounds like fingernails or someone taking a fork and running it across a chalkboard. Not very pleasant. And then you put it right back underneath you here like a magnet and gauge, picking it up, and you know it's there. This is where you will drain it from. You'll take this off, open it up, and stick it into a drain. Down here, you will have a squeegee. And this is your squeegee. This hose here attaches to the squeegee like this in order to suck up the water. Now here on the machine you'll notice a few quick simple instructions showing you where everything's at. One is turn on the key. You'll see lights turn on, the battery lights, everything, how much pressure you're putting down, how much water you're putting down, everything. And then as you can see it says to push down a lever or a pedal. This one right here. Push it out to the right and that drops that down. And as that is what will scrub the floor. And then second or third actually, you'll drop down the squeegee from that little pedal. And as you can tell it kicks on. It's quite noisy. Then you'll pull this lever right here in order to get it to go. And what this will do it will scrub the floor and make it nice and clean. And then you go like that. And let it run for a second before you turn it off because that will suck up any water that's left in the hose up into here. Turn it off. It's down and to the left to put that back up. Easier transportation mode. And then you'll take it back to said facility, uh, wherever you store it, where there's a drain, you take it, pull it up to the drain, take said drain hose, and then you will open said drain hose. And let it drain into the drain. And then you're going to want to open this, clean this out of any debris, 
take that, throw it into a trash can. You're going to want to pull this out after use and let it drain as well. You don't want anything left in your reserve tank because what that'll do is it'll build up some water in some of the pipes and stuff in there and cause complications. One other thing you're going to want to do at the end of every service is this. You are going to want to take this off right here, the squeegee. Let's pull it back a little bit. Take that hose off there. Twist these little knobs. There's one on each side. Pull this off. Put it up into the drain. And you're going to want to. You're going to want to um, take a hose and just kind of rinse it out. Rinse out any lint, plastic, it's mainly lint and hair that gets built up in this thing. And just rinse it out so it's nice and clean. So that way you can pick up the most amount of water. So you're not leaving streaks, you're not, not picking up water, you're not having any issues from that. And that is the T300. It's quite simple to use, pretty self-explanatory. Be sure to read all warning labels beforehand and follow the instructions. But most importantly, don't forget to plug it back in. Because if you don't, you're gonna come here and have a dead battery. Just pull it off the back there, plug it in and you are good to go. That is the T300, best tank in New Cleans Arsenal. Hope you have fun, be safe with it, and I'll catch you next time.